got for me today, New York Film Academy? A film history midterm on Marvel? Bingo! Please, this will be easy. All right, let's get to work. But before we start. Who here hasn't ever seen a Marvel movie? Well, buckle in. First things first. Cue the intro. All right, uh, can we speed this up? I don't have a lot of time here. Thanks, buddy. Oh, so cute. <laughs> when it comes to Marvel movies and TV shows, you don't typically think homages to classic cinema, surreal, or German expressionist. Unless you're talking about the first Doctor Strange. The second Doctor Strange. Any Ant-Man. Become irrelevant. Or Moon Knight. But believe me, it exists. But first, let's define what surreal and German expressionist is and means and see how Marvel does it. Surrealists believe in chaos. Which differs from science fiction in that surrealism has no rules, no limits, and endless possibilities. There is no right or wrong. There just is. Surrealists tend to explore the significance of dreams and the uncanny. Images are rooted in visceral emotion. And can sometimes even be violent. Reality and fantasy are blurred. and the world becomes quite uncanny as things begin to happen without order or explanation. You think that this material universe is all there is? It's an active diversion of expectations. You think you know real? What is real? Here's what real is. This universe is only one of an infinite number. In 1920, the first German expressionist film, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, was released and paved the way for a new method of filmmaking. We're mad scientists. German expressionists use high contrast textured images where light shapes the set and smoke fills the atmosphere. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. <laughs> they also use diagonal lines, mostly to direct the viewer's attention to important details. Sets are often grand, robust, high in contrast, looming, and complex. Lighting is usually from a single source. Wait. And there's plenty of cross dissolves. They may puppeteer this unholy doppelganger and pursue their enemies from afar. And let's not forget all the Nosferatu inspired monsters Kanchu, Green Goblin, both Venom, Venom, Chitari, Hobgoblin, Gore, Ultron, these demons, those demons, this demon, that demon, Thanos' army demon, more demons. Check out Red Skull. 
The Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Daredevil. And all the Hitler references. <laughs> Please. I built an empire out here. And I'm taking it with me. History is not written. It is forged. Today, we conquer eternity and the dynasty of kings. And Marvel wouldn't be anywhere without Caligari and Metropolis' inspiration of science fiction, which differs from surrealism in that there are rules and limits to what is possible. What's right and wrong is constantly, ethically, and morally questioned and tested. And the capability of human potential and understanding of the world around them is the only limit. Plus, big twists. And unstable characters. Why aren't we seeing this the same way? Because you can't trust. And I can't be trusted. Say Frankenstein. I said, can we say Frankenstein? You know what? Forget it. I'll say it myself. Frankenstein. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. But Jameson, you said homages to classic cinema. Well, what's the deal? You talk too much. You're not the first person to tell me that. Well, that's the reason I bring you here today. I'm here to show you, in my opinion, the most surreal, expressionist piece of work Marvel has ever released. It's called Legion. The story of Charles Xavier's son. In this story, David, played by Dan Stevens, believes he is schizophrenic because of his delusions and untrustworthy memories he's had since he was a child. Faith violence is not necessary! Needles are not necessary! Well, it turns out his father, Charles Xavier, once no. defeated a mutant they known as the Shadow King. In the astral plane. With their minds. And while he was Monster separated was from his body in the astral plane, the Shadow King hopped into mean? David's infant mind and disguised himself as a mental illness, as like one does. House. In this scene I'm about to show you, there's three things happening. The real asylum, seen with special glasses, the hallucination asylum, and the real world. You'll also see David attempting to escape his own mind. Keep an eye out for Aubrey Little Tramp Scissorhands Plaza in a very monstrous way, complemented by Kira Cedric Lighting. By Kia Soul Lighting. By Kia Soro Lighting. Roll the clip!
Well, that's all the time I got tonight. Thanks, Ben Cohen, for letting me try this out, and thank you for watching all the way through, because I know it was long. Peace out, guys.